aborted. And that has given rise to a situation where there are about 37 million more men living in China than women today, which is driving human trafficking and sexual slavery. So, what is Women's Rights Left Frontiers doing about it? Number one, we have an international advocacy campaign exposing this internationally to governments all over the world, doing things like writing open letters to President Trump to try to uh, encourage him to do things like defund implant, you know, international Planned Parenthood, and by the way, you and FPA, you are also on our radar screen, and we want you defunded as well. <laughs> that any other policy in the history of the world, and people sometimes ask, how do Chinese women deal with this? Well, it's a very so sobering answer. as comforting as they are, 
as great as the sermons. In order for your light to be seen, you have to be outside of the sanctuary in the public square. You have He's making good on a promise. Yes. But that doesn't mean you go away. You step up your game, as the kids would say. You take it to the next level because you're in a season. You can now right the most terrible wrong since the Garden of Eden. You now get to turn it around. Jesus took care of the first one, but he's going to need you in the same time now. You know, the Civil Rights Movement, there was a song, amen, that everybody sang, We Shall Overcome. It was saying, we shall overcome what? Someday. Well, we, we got to turn that around a little bit. Now we overcome. Now we overcome. Say today. 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 Now we overcome today. And I wasn't going to do this because it's a very volatile situation. But I got this on my heart. To the young people that may not be familiar with that song, you're familiar with this. So. 